Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about the SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD uh, version 2, uh, one terabyte version, uh, which is um, up to 1055 megabit per second for read and write speed. And the write speed is 1000 megabit per second. So I did some tests, uh, rock tests and speed tests, and also uh, video editing tests, and uh, also my thought uh, why I, bu uh, I bought this uh, SSD. Uh, but I forgot to, to give you a quick review of the build quality. So, okay, uh, unboxing, I already unboxed it, and here's some uh, brief information at the back of the box. So this is uh, the security for your file, so there's an installation file to install. Or install when you uh, plug this uh, SSD into your computer it will um, use the password to protect your file and it is IP55 water resistant so you can drop water here for, uh, for, uh, with no problem and shock and it's drop test it can drop uh, up to 2 meter 2 meter is okay and the data is safe I already did that and it's okay and lastly you can uh, have the, the speed up to 1050 uh, 50 megabit per second but you need to use the, the correct uh, usb connection no matter usb c or usb a or thunderbolt you need a usb usb c 3.2 or thunderbolt port uh, to reach the maximum speed of this SSD. okay then this is the box nothing more and this is a disc uh, it is small compact and the design quality is good uh, it's good, uh, but I think it's a little bit plastic, but it's okay, no problem for me. And there's a hang, uh, a hook here, and you can just put it in your pocket or, or anywhere, okay? And there's a USB-C port uh, at the bottom, and nothing more, okay? Nothing more. So, uh, in order to connect this, uh, send this to your computer, you need a cable. So, this is very short cable, USB-C. To USB C, and they have a, a an adapter also. Uh, this is USB A adapter. So if your computer has a USB A, you can plug this one. So remember, there's two side here. Uh, so there's a plug or a, a, a clutch or something like that. So you plug it here, and then uh, you plug this side to your hot, uh, to your SSD, and you're good to go. Okay. And this is USB A. You can plug this to your computer, and then this is a SSD. Uh, but for this test, I I don't use this one, and I'm use uh, I'm using my new laptop, uh, which uh, I which I borrow from my friends. Okay, now go to the drop test, and then to the speed test, and finally, uh, finally go to the video editing test, and also some uh, thought about this. So I'm going to give you con conclusion for this uh, LSD. It's good, it's small, and the speed is very fast, up to 1050 megabit per second uh, with a, the correct USB connection. And I'm very happy I bought this one. So I will leave the link in the des description below. You can purchase it on Amazon, okay? And the price is 174 US dollar at this moment. By the way, I don't know if you can uh, get another uh, better deals or uh, the price. Check the price in your country. Okay, let's go. You can drop it from two meter, right? And I have some data inside. Uh, hopefully, I will not damage my uh, hard disk. This is the disk. And All right, so after a few days, I received my new laptop. Uh, I borrowed it from my friends. Uh, we has a Thunderbolt port here. So as I mentioned earlier, it's important to, to have uh, the correct USB connection because uh, this is my old one and it does not have the Thunderbolt uh, port uh, on this side uh, which is required to run the, the SSD. So I plug this one directly to this laptop at this Thunderbolt port and I also install Filmora 10 on my computer to test and of course uh, right inside the uh, right inside the disk I have uh, some file so we can uh, see here this is the 
this is the the, the SSD. Uh, we can double click on this, and this is uh, my new footage that I have a vlog on on the trip around Hanoi. By the way, I, I will not show this on my channel. By the way, uh, this is a good service when you are in uh, at Hanoi Center, and you can just uh, I can double click to play the video. So you see that is is played smoothly on um, on my computer. Uh, th that means that the, the SSD has no problem with uh, review reviewing the uh, the video. Uh, okay, and now I'm going to minimize this one, and I will just make a test, a speed test for the SSD. So I install this one, uh, the software, the Crystal Disk Mark. Let's open it. Uh, we're now at the app. So this is the the, the SSD. Uh, I hope you can see it. Okay, and this is the setting. Uh, or this is the profile. We we will check the read and write. Uh, speed of this um, NSD okay uh, so we going to just click here to start the test and you will see that uh, the speed will reach uh, 1000 megabit per second uh, I hope so so we need to wait wait a few minutes so uh, I would just put my camera here so that you can see the result better so they are creating a test sequence array. Okay, just a moment. Uh, okay, so for the wrist, uh, wrist speed, it is uh, 1040.46 uh, megabit per second. And now they are, it is checking the write speed. Still check, checking the right speed. Okay, so the the right speed is a little bit slower than the read speed, but uh, by the way, it's okay because it is still uh, 1,000, nearly 1,000. It's 988.46 megabit per second. Okay, so that's fine because uh, the specs say that it can reach uh, 1,050 megabit per second. So it's okay uh, to reach this one uh, because you know that I when I connect this one to my old uh, laptop, it can reach only 40, uh, 400. 46 megabit per second so it is just half the, the design speed uh, now I'm going to uh, to uh, start uh, Femora 10 uh, okay here Femora 10 and write and drop some footage um, into the media library to see how it works because uh, when I edit uh, edit my video directly in the NSD uh, with my old laptop it uh, doesn't work fine there's some lag issue because the speed is just half so this is a brand new Fimura 10. Okay, quit the tour. Go back to, yeah, just a second. Go back to folder. Okay, and now I'm going to import. Okay, import some uh, folder here at the, the SSD. So we are going to uh, import this file, this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. So I'm sorry for the noise because uh, this is uh, my friend's laptop, so I don't know uh, why the fan's uh, noise is so terrible like that. Maybe he just uh, uh, has some problem with the fan, but he didn't fix it. Uh, actually, the same, the same, the same with my laptop, but uh, just a newer version. Because the, the older version, I don't have the Thunderbolt USB here, just a uh, USB 3.0. Okay, so import, uh, import it, so uh, we can drag and drop it onto the timeline. Oh, it's nice. It works so fast and so nice. So, so this is an 8 second GoPro footage and we set the review. Uh, we are going to set the review at uh, half the resolution. Okay, and then we play. Wow. Okay, it is so smooth. Very nice. Super nice. 
okay? Wow. Okay. So I think I think the, this S this is very affordable, and the speed is according to the design. So yeah, it can reach 1,000 megabit per second, and we can just uh, edit our video directly on this SSD uh, with no problem. I try try it uh, here, and as you can see that the test is great, because when I use this, use this old uh, old laptop, it doesn't have the Thunderbolt uh, Thunderbolt port here, so the speed is only half. It's uh, about 500 megabit per second so you need to consider that if your computer doesn't have the um, the thunderbolt port or the usb 3.2 the speed cannot reach uh, 1000 megabit per second for the ssd of sandis one terabyte the new version uh sandit extreme pro so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial uh, did sorry so i hope you enjoyed the video if you want to purchase this send this you can go ahead to the link i put in the description uh, i put it um so if you want to purchase this uh, this guys you can uh, go ahead to the link i put in the description uh, it is on amazon so you can check um, anywhere on amazon uh, this is a, a great one for video editing and for st uh, store your footage and back up your, your project or something like that okay bye and see you again